super excited to be here to talk about this very important topic. Unfortunately, we are kicking the can down the road on climate. The problem is just getting bigger and bigger, and we're already seeing the, the effects of that in a very dramatic way. There's a lot of talk about 2050 goals, but in my view, 2030 should be the focus, and that's right around the corner. So why is this so hard? We've got the technology, we've got, it should be 100% in our control. Well, there's a great description of this challenge that goes back to the 1800s, almost goes back to the time of Aristotle, and it's called the tragedy of the commons. The tragedy of the commons is, describes a situation where the things that are most available to us, most common to us, air, land, water, nature itself, are the things that we take the least care of. There's a survival of the fittest mentality that we've had. And you know, while that might have worked great in the Serengeti, it, has no, it makes no sense in modern society. In fact, survival of the fittest has become survival of the excess. Do we really need that Amazon delivery box coming up on, on a continuous basis to your doorstep? Do you really need to go buy a new car every five years or so? Like, is li isn't life so much more about things other than material possessions? And it feels like there is an awakening that's happening amongst us, especially around a, a, the younger generation, and it's great to see that. And there are real opportunities out there to make a difference with your life and your career. And I see it everywhere in, in the younger generation. And what bigger and better opportunity to take on than climate and the clean energy transition? If I look at my own career, it's definitely not been in a straight line. I've, I've embraced different types of opportunities. I've, I've taken some risks with my career. And for the most part, it's, it's worked out. But I, what my message is, is really kind of embrace those pivots that come in your life. In the 1990s and the, and the 2000s, I spent most of my, my career, early career, in consulting in the private sector. And I had the opportunity to join Mayor Bill White uh, as the Houston's first chief sustainability officer uh, around 2007. It was a big move for me and my family, kind of leaving the, the sort of the stability of the corporate and private sector to take on this public role. But it felt right. It felt right to join a team that was trying to make a difference. And what I found is you really, as an outsider, sometimes bring unique skills to that new problem, new solution. And, and that, you know, that could include, you know, I, for my consulting days, it was like strategy, analytics, and really making a difference on, in a public way, bringing those skills to the table. And what I learned is everyone has a perspective that they can bring in, and everyone should be able to kind of embrace a pivot as it comes into your life. After Mayor Bill White's term ended, I took an opportunity to come to San Antonio and, and join the climate fight here. And what was exciting there is I, I joined CPS Energy, the largest public utility, one of the largest public utilities in the country, serving 800,000 customers. And they play a, a hugely important role in terms of they actually provide power, they keep the lights on, businesses of, uh, running with, with their resource but they also have tremendous responsibility around the emissions around those generation resources. And we worked hard to stand up a lot of renewables, energy efficiency programs, weatherizing homes, and it culminated with the shutdown of two coal plants 15 years ahead of schedule, what we felt, which we felt really, really good about. But ultimately, I wanted to do more. And what I found was I wanted to, to, to go down the entrepreneurial path. I wanted to start my own company. And so I partnered with a great group up in Seattle and, and launched Evergreen, Ever.Green. And we work with companies out there that are trying to get 100% renewable, and we make it easy for them. We stand up new, yet-to-be-built solar. It feels impactful. Every day I'm thinking about clean energy and, this, and, and, and getting more and more solar out there, and it's exciting, and I feel a real sense of purpose in my journey uh, right now. And it's not just me, my situation. I see it in my co-founder, my co-founder, Michael Leggett, uh, what's interesting about Michael is he did two pivots. He pivoted professionally, but he also pivoted uh, personally. He became a vegetarian. He embraces public transportation. He, in fact, dries plastic bags next to a sink so he could use them again. And so there are a lot of people like Michael that are out there. And it's, it's refreshing to see more and more folks you know, go, go down this path. And I see it in young people all around. They're studying with intent. They're making a difference. Um, they're getting trained and they're embracing opportunity that comes their way. And it feels really, really good. And this is not just theoretical. 
what happened last year with the passage of game-changing cl uh, climate legislation called the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 is just, it's just gonna be huge for all of this. It is the ultimate public-private partnership uh, where there are incentive dollars going to change and in innovation. And unlike past laws where you penalize past practices, this is really changing how we do business and how we live our lives in the future. Again, $270 billion of tax credits to this, to this clean energy transi transition. There will be massive new markets that basically get created with this. One estimate has 9 million jobs getting for created over the next 10 years. That's a million jobs a year out there. These will be good paying jobs in solar, manufacturing, energy efficiency, building sciences, electric vehicles to name a few. So the opportunities are out there for everyone. So this brings us back to this conversation here today. There are real opportunities. You can lean in, you can network, you can embrace opportunities, embrace that pivot that comes your way and really make a difference in the, the world. And let's solve climate change in the here and now. So let's not kick the can down the road anymore. 2030 is right around the corner. Be bold, be proactive, go get that job with a purpose and help make a difference in this world. Thank you.